Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about how can we store different data types values in an array using csr.py. So, and here this is the one example. And if I uncomment, and here I have taken integer type variable a double r. So, this is at here single dimension, and here the size I have given y. Now, at here zero index, I store 25. So there is no any problem and here one index I am trying to store A. So A is the character so no any problem. And here but to add here when I am trying to store on two index some string kind of values. So add here getting the error message. So add here the reason of error message cannot implicitly convert a string to integer. So this is the a string here and here since I have taken array integer tab so that here getting the error cannot implicitly convert type a string to integer. So that means we cannot store at here or uh, a string kind of values. Like at here if I give a double r at here 3. Now here I am going to store 9.7. So at here again the error I'm getting cannot implicitly convert double to integer. So at here this is 9.7 is the double time and this double time values I'm going to store into a double r3 and a double r is the integer time. So how can we store different kind of data types inside array? So at here we cannot accept this kind of format. So we need to use add here object, object array concept. So add here about the object and object array store an element various types elements. Okay. So we can achieve the same things by using object array. So first let's uncomment and here object obj and here new object here are given the size 3. So at here obj 0 index 25 it's an integer here or 1 index at here character a and here 2 index I am trying to store gems. So this time there is no any problem. Or here you can oh, just write obj and here let's keep the index as 3. And you are going to insert 9.7. After we need to increase the size of array. Right at your console cross. Console dot right line. And your obj 3. Now after that you can add, uh, get the output 9. Also. So this is the one important interview question. So if interviewer asks how can we insert or store different data type values inside array. So you should all say add here we can achieve the things by using object array concept. So at here you can see 25 is gems 9.7 it's a display. So this is the first way or we can achieve the same things by using that here. We can write same thing object here single dimension a double r new object and here directly we can give at here 25 67.9 here a string value and here character and here this is the double tag and here one a double r one by one that go to i and here i hinting. Now execute and check the output. You can see uh, 0 index it's a display 25 to uh, 1 index 67.9 here on 2 index gems 3rd A and here on 4th index this values. So at here it's all on different data types. So this is integer here double a string character exponential. 
So by using object concept, we can add here, restore different type of data values inside array. So I hope guys, this video is helpful for you. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.